Hey everyone, it's Lenny and welcome to the channel. So, I'm going to show you guys how you can do a frozen money glitch. Okay, this is a two player method, it works on Xbox and on PlayStation. Um, so, your friend will be needed for about five minutes. So, you can just, they, they can help you get glitched out and then they can go about their day, do whatever they got to do. Alright, so to start off with, you want to make yourself go online first. So, you can, um, if you haven't gone online for a while, it'll like, it won't tell you that you have to do the prologue. Once you're in line, make sure you set your spawn location to either last location or to um, random. And just force a game save so the game registers that you've changed your spawn location. Put yourself somewhere on the street. Um, so when you spawn in, you um, yeah, you spawn in there. Alright, so once you've done that, make your way back to story mode. Make sure your friend's in a invite-only session. And make sure they're sitting in a job. Okay, so tighten up a job is fine, so it's going to sit there. And what you need to do is make sure that you have your double tap ready to go back so you can disconnect the internet when you need to and reconnect. Alright, so now we're back in story mode. You need to get up your wanted level. Um, you need a one star wanted level, not a two, because a one star wanted level is going to get us busted. Two star wanted level is going to get us um, killed. Okay, so only get one star. You can do that by just shooting someone punching someone or you can um, yeah you can put the cheat in. The cheats will be in the description for both consoles and once you get that you want to make your way sort of towards where they are. Um, when you get close to them you want to be holding the pause button and once they bust you you see your hands go to the air you want to release the pause button like so. Okay so now you got your pause menu up go to online and go to choose character don't select it Hover over it, double tap, go to disconnect your internet. You want to reconnect your internet. So you want to disconnect, reconnect, and then double tap, come back to the game. It's going to say that you got no network happening. If you press up and down, you can go up to creator and then back down to choose character. You see it in the background. All right, now what's going to happen is it's going to, the menu is going to pop back up. It's going to be all highlighted again. As soon as it pops up, you want to hit the X button at least three times. Okay, once you hit that, if you're successful, you're going to get a Rockstar Services alert. Okay, sometimes this alert won't happen. There is a bit of a thing about this alert. Okay, if you use a, an old game save, this alert will come up. Okay, if you have a new game save, it might, might come up, it might not. Okay, this is the alert we need. If you don't get this alert, you're going to spawn into Choose Character or you're going to get an infinite black screen. Okay, so uh, this alert. It's going to be a bit, a bit of a pain. Like all good glitches, you're going to have to have alerts. All right, now this one can be a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a bitch to get. But once you get it, um, obviously I'm paused on this screen here. I've zoomed it in. Once you get it, you want to go back to your dashboard. You want to join your party. Okay, join the party that your friend's in. All right, and then once you get into the party, you want to join their session. Okay, so you select join. As soon as you hit join. It's going to take you back to the game. You're going to be sitting on the Rockstar Game Service Alert. Wait for seven seconds. You want to accept this alert after seven seconds. You're going to get quitting session, and then it's going to go to getting session details, online session details. If you don't get that alert, like this little information bar on the right hand side, double tap, join your friend again. Okay, now you're going to be on this black screen waiting for the alert to come through. This alert may come through quick, it might come through slower, it doesn't matter, but as long as you got that on the bottom right hand side, you're good, it's going to come up eventually. Okay, once it comes up, once you're going to get the first alert, you want to accept the first alert. Okay, accept the first alert, you want to sit on the second alert because it's going to be a unable to connect because it's a private session, because your friend is sitting in a invite only. Alright, so we're here on this session is private alert. Um, get your friend to send you an invite through the party. Okay, once he does that, you need to go to your dashboard, find that invitation, and hover over join. Okay, come back to the game, double tap, come back to the game. As soon as you accept this alert, you want to double tap and join that invitation. Okay, so accept it, double tap, join that alert, uh, that invitation, sorry, and then it's going to bring you back to the game. You're going to get this screen for a second. You're going to get another alert. Don't touch anything. Just let it sit. It'll go away eventually. And yeah, now we're just going to um, wait on this screen here. Okay, so now we're going to go into a online session. Okay, this is where it all can come unstuck. All right, so 
your screen's going to load. Obviously, this is fast forwarded, and I'm going to slow the gameplay down. Soon as you see your camera like move, start spamming the accept button. Okay, on PlayStation that's the X. Um, on Xbox, I believe it's the A button. I could be wrong, but I don't know Xbox unfortunately. But you want to be spamming the accept button. Okay, so it's going to take you a little bit to load down. Just keep spamming. Okay, you want to accept that alert. Sometimes you can't help it; it just won't accept. Um, you're going to get an error if that, that that happens. You're going to get either kick back to story mode and you can retry, or you're going to have to close app because you're going to get stuck on a screen. So now that we've um, pretty much bypassed the patch from the original SP to MP method, um, we are spawning into a job, okay, in the mission that your friend has invited you to. They can leave that job, but they're going to have to start another job up. So get them to start up another mission, get them to send you an invite through the party to that job, okay, and then once they send you an invite and they're sitting in the skating screens, they want to press the circle button once, so they're hovering over the alert to quit that mission okay and what you need to do once they're ready to go you need to confirm settings on this mission and then once you go to confirm settings you need to go to the dashboard and find that invitation that your friend just sent you to the next job and you want to have it ready to go so it's hovering over join double tap come back to the game as soon as you press play and select X on this alert or accept this alert you want to double tap your PS button go to that invitation hit join it's going to bring you back to the game Okay, you're going to get the loading screen like you're launching into the job you just selected. You're going to get an alert. Once you get that alert, you want you to tell your friend to back out of that job. Okay, so you got this alert. Tell your friend to back out. As soon as he backs out, you accept this alert. Okay, you're going to get the next alert, say unable to connect, and you want to accept it. Okay, you've seen Michael for a second there in the job. And once you've accepted that alert, you're going to load up to the clouds and you're going to spawn into the next session. Okay, there is always a chance when you're spawning into sessions, just like playing GTA normally, there is a chance that you won't spawn into a session, you're going to get timed out or whatever. That can happen. Um, it happens whenever you're playing the game, so don't be alarmed if that happens, you just have to restart and try again. Alright, so now we're online, we're going to have a glitched out um, interaction menu. If you're on Xbox, this is sort of the Xbox method to doing the frozen chips. I can't actually show that because I don't have an Xbox, but there is videos on the internet about that on uh, YouTube. So we need to find a party plant, okay, a story mode party plant. Okay, there is one in this location where I spawned in, so I just use this one. What you need to do is walk over to it. You're not going to get the option to press right D-pad. So walk over close, press right D-pad. You're going to get the animation of your character eating the party plant. Once you do, press pause, go online, and then you simply want to, once you select online, go find a new session, okay? And then what's going to happen is you're going to go up to the clouds and you're going to spawn into the next session. Okay, same again, there is a chance that you're going to get timed out, but more than likely you're going to spawn into the next session, and this time when you spawn into the next session, you're going to have a glitched out screen, like sort of like you ate the party plant, but sort of like you're in, a fr in the session. And all you need to do is to bypass this is just press pause, go online, go jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and then just go into a mission. Doesn't matter what mission. Once you get to the settings screen, you just want to back out of the job. Okay, and once you're back out of the job, you're going to um, be back on the ground and you will have frozen money. Okay, so that's pretty much the hard part of the glitch done. Okay, so you see here, I'm going to just go to um, passive mode because if you get killed at this state, it unglitches you and you'll have to restart the glitch. So make sure you set yourself in passive mode after you do this part. And I'm just going to go to um, inventory and just buy some ammo to show you that my money is frozen. Okay. Now that we're in this frozen state, we can't access our phone. So the way through to the internet is we just press pause, go online, and then go over to criminal enterprise starter pack. Then once you're in here, you want to go down to like the vehicle section, select all vehicles. Just select a vehicle, doesn't matter which one. Um, so I'm just in Legendary Motorsport here. Just select Legendary Motorsport and that'll take you to the internet. Okay, so I'm just going to purchase a whole bunch of Shotaros and an Oppressor. Um, this glitch can work with buildings as well, but I suggest 
suggest just to buy apartments. I didn't buy apartments with this. Um, I was just doing the vehicles to start off with. And um, yeah, I bought a few Pegasus vehicles, which sometimes they save, sometimes they don't save. So just be aware of that if you're going to do Pegasus vehicles. Um, sometimes, yeah, they just don't save. You, just, you call them out at like the point where you save and everything. But um, yeah, just sometimes they just don't stick. So I'm just buying a whole bunch of Shitaros. I'm going to cut a bit of the gameplay out because I had to buy 20 Shitaros and then I end up buying an Oppressor at the end because I realized that they were on special at this point and I had enough money to buy just a Mark 1 Oppressor just to help myself get around on this account. And now I've bought everything I want. Um, I'm going to do the RP glitch, okay, just so you can just get as much RP as you want with this. Ideally, you need to not have collected any of the cards or the figurines. You can use it with the, like, the RV, um, I can't even think what they're called, but they're the little, um, transponder things that you destroy around, this, around the map, and you can, um, unlock RV in the casino heist. But this is a brand new account, and I'm just going to collect cards, um, I'm going to get up to level 135 because everything's unlocked at 135 and anything after that's pretty pointless unless you just want a high level account. There is a way you can actually bookmark a job. Okay, I did actually bookmark a job but I never used it. So I bookmarked the job down at the pier. Okay, there's a, there is a card there and if you go to the social club and you link your account, you can actually bookmark a job that's right next to the card so you can basically just walk up to the card like I have and turn around and just press right D-pad into the job. Okay, and then just back out of the job. But I'm just going to do the old-fashioned way. I've collected the cards. Um, and I'm just going to go into Rockstar Creator Jobs, into a mission, go into the settings screen, back out. As soon as I back out, that card will be there to collect again. Okay, and you can collect it like 50 times again because there's, I think there's 50 cards. So basically I went from like level 14 to level 27, like just by doing one round of that. And... Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep collecting cards. So you just walk up to the card, it's going to collect it multiple times. And then just press pause after you collected the last one. Online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go into a mission. And then, yeah, you sit in the setting screen and back out once you're there. So that's how easy it is to level up, okay? That's if you, that's if you just got cards and figurines unlocked still. If you don't, um... Yeah, just use the RV, like, transponders. I can't even think what they're called. I have, like, a mental bloody brain blank moment right now, so I can't remember what they're called. But you can just shoot them um, and just basically keep shooting them with a minigun at this point. And then just once, they, once they've once they all disappeared, just pause, same thing, go into the job, back out of the job. And then they'll respawn. You can just reshoot the same one over and over again. It's not as much RP as the cards or the um, figurines, but it works just as well. So now that I've bought my all my vehicles that I'm going to get and I've collected the RP up to 135, you want to disable passive mode at this point, okay, because we have to save our RP. Alright, so you can see there on the bottom right, I'm waiting for my passive mode to end. Um, I'm going to rob this store, okay, so if you look at my little level bar at the top, I'm level 135. If you go pause online and into players, you can see that my player is still level 14 on here. Alright, so we have to save the RP that we've just collected, okay, and what we need to do to save it is basically take the easy way out. Kill yourself. Alright, so now that we've done this, we're going to spawn back somewhere close by. We're going to be unfrozen, and this is the part where we save our vehicles and save our RP. Okay, so I'm going to make my way over to this store. And what I'm going to do is rob this store. Okay, as soon as you rob the store, you're going to generate some RP. And what that's going to do is the game's going to register and save that you got RP, and it's going to save your new level. Okay, so you'll see in a second here. I'm going to run into the store. I'm going to pull my gun out, and I'm going to rob it. Now, this is where you need to keep an eye out. Okay, so once you go over to the cash register, press right D-pad to rob it. Make sure that your RP bar goes up a little bit. If you don't see it go up, rob another store. Okay, just keep robbing stores. A good way to check is just by pressing your pause online and go into players, and you can see there my level has now changed to 135. Okay, so you can see there it's saved. Um, I suggest change your outfit at this point so it just registers the game as a save. Um, I only saved one 
I only did one like robbing the store at this point. I used to do like rob a couple of stores, lose the cops and get a bit of extra RP but I only did it once in this video because I could see my levels going up. If you're that concerned about the level part I suggest to log into your social club and check on your GTA Online character and that will show you that it's actually saved as well okay but I found just press by pressing pause and going to online and players you can see your your character's profile and you can see that the level has gone up all right so now this is the part where you save the vehicles okay I bought a bunch of motorcycles so I've bought 19 Chitaros and I bought one oppressor so I'm just going to register as an MC and I'm going to call out every vehicle okay with my MC so you can just call out every Chitaro uh, call one out, return it, bring up your interaction menu again to where you can request a vehicle. I press right T-pad once and I called the next one out. Okay, I did that like 20 times. I started with the oppressor so I knew where I was at. But I basically called out and returned every vehicle. Okay, and that's how you save, like that's, how, that's a quick way to save motorcycles. If you had Deluxos in a garage, you would simply go in the garage and you would go to your blue circle and you would just swap the vehicles around via your, like, your vehicle blue circle in your garages that you can move vehicles around with. If you Hello, don't have that blue circle can I help? Um, for some reason, oh, thank you, madam. you'll your literally have to pull each car in and out you at our nearest and airfield. to save it. Okay, sometimes people don't have blue circles in their garages due to dead spots and the wrong vehicles being in the wrong garages. Um, but yeah, that's how you'd save vehicles in a garage as well, just by using your blue little... Um, like your little index in the garage so we can move cars around. You could see in the background I did call, I bought a buzzard and I bought a tank and I called them out but um, they still didn't save so I mean it doesn't matter either way but the whole point is just actually get some vehicles for free and get some RP and um, I'll be doing this glitch again on this account once I get a bit of money and buy the rest of the buildings. I don't suggest buying vehicles like Avengers and MOCs and all that because you can ultimately get a dead spot from doing that. It's more so buying vehicles like vehicles that are in your garages that you can sell. Deluxos, um, a Vigilante or whatever, oppressors. But I wouldn't suggest doing this buying either facilities and stuff like that. Just basically you can buy apartments, you can buy vehicles that you can sell and that's all I would use it for. You're going to get enough money with that anyway. Once you've called every vehicle out um, just change your outfit, force a game save because remember you're unglitched and whatever you do now is going to save and register so if I was to get killed I'll have a kill against me, if I was to kill someone I'd have a kill like for me, okay? So I'm just yeah, calling the Pegasus vehicles out Hello, again this is Pegasus but Lifestyle Management. How can they I help? don't save so unfortunately oh, for me you, that madam. time it didn't your save but is now um, ready for you at our nearest it does sometimes, um, maybe you could call them out, take them for a fly, crash them I mean, I've done that before and they haven't saved, but I think it's just completely random with what um, what happens at that point. And, um, yeah, but you, yeah, you see me bought 20, 20 vehicles and I leveled up from level 14 to 135. So I've got enough vehicles to sell now to make this account, like, get everything I want on it and do the glitch again and just completely fill it up with Deluxos. Okay, and this is, like, Frozen Money's been around for a long time with, like, GTA and I've never been money wiped once doing frozen money with selling vehicles so this is I believe is pretty safe to do and um, this is just me spawning it back into the, the next like closing up and restarting the game so you can see my oppressor there my level is still 135 everything's saved and I'm going to ring the mechanic and show you that everything I purchased on the mechanic is still there one of your rides? So I've got 20 Shitaro, or 10 Shitaros in there, 9 Shitaros and okay, a presser I got in the other do. garage. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, got a bit tongue twisted explaining a little bit of it there, so I apologise for that. But um, Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle yeah, Management. it is an How easy, can I help you? easy glitch to do. Um, you can Call see there again. my Pegasus Goodbye. vehicles didn't save, unfortunately. But that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and definitely take advantage of it. This has worked for quite a while, um, it'll probably be patched when we get the next update. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video guys, thanks for watching.